Thanks so much for joining us uh, today at today's learning event. And it really is just an opportunity to bring together members to exchange their experiences and learning about co-production, particularly within the context of what we've been seeing through the COVID pandemic. Uh, with a view to try and create some key messages um, about co-production in relation to the Building Back Better agenda. Hi everyone, thank you for being here with us and uh, in this space and in, in bringing our brains together to kind of tackle this question of, you know, where are we now, where do we go next, what can we do together? I, I suppose starting off with the, the kind of response and some of the reflections about the kind of positivity in, in, in how people um, have responded to the pandemic, um, community organisations, but also in, even from a co-production point of view in terms of needing to, the necessity of, of, of working together in this way so that we can um, tackle this, this huge crisis that we, that we face. Um, people are exhausted. We need to do it better now and in the future. You know, people are really, really, you know, worn down with this and being expected to continue providing a response. I think that was particularly in relation to the fact that COVID has highlighted a lot of issues that already existed. For example, food poverty, transport poverty, climate change, etc. But it's just brought that much more to the forefront, but we still have the same amount of resource to actually do stuff at local level. One point that came out um, that really stood out for me was what we um, what we often talk about is co-production needs to be resourced. So it needs time, it needs money, it needs resource of all sorts of different kinds. And maybe what we're not so good at doing is saying, okay, well, it costs this much to do. You know, it, it, it's not cheap and it's not easy to do, but this is the amount of value that you get back from it. With regards to the evidence case for this, there are lots of things which would have seemed completely impossible a year ago, and yet here we are and we've done them. And so, as much as it, there's been many huge challenges this year in many places where co-production couldn't happen, we've also in our group been discussing lots of places where we have seen more opportunities for co-production and more good practice taking place. I, I was just struck by that we came with our own perspectives from our own communities and our own backgrounds, but it struck me that uh, the commonality between certain experiences um, between Scotland and Wales as well and um, and that it was actually to be able to draw on a network like this to hear different perspectives and hear different experiences and also draw strength from what's happening in other areas was, was really beneficial. So I really valued the conversation and I think part of making co-production more wide stream and mainstream is, is having these opportunities to share but actually inviting the communities in on, on that as well as, as much as, as we can um, and, and getting those conversations out there.